welcome to or welcome back to my channel i'm adiana i'm a latina surrealist artist and this is my art shop a vocalic art shop so today i'm super excited to take you guys shopping with me at michael's craft store which is my personal heaven on earth if i had an unlimited budget in there Whew, baby, don't even tempt me. But I'm going to show you guys clips from me shopping the other day and then also other things I purchased off of Amazon, Vistaprint, sticker app, and an all-inclusive art shop haul. I also picked up a few items to try out a new art medium and I'll be doing a separate video of me showing that process and kind of figuring it out along the way. Shopping time! We are going in to Michael's Craft Store because I want to learn a new art medium. I'm really interested in trying sculptures, so I'm going to look for some polymer clay and any tools that I might need to experiment with it. So let's see what we find. Ah, Michael's my heaven on earth. Now let's go inside. Now I'm looking for the clay. I have my little rolly cart and let's see what we can find. That was quick. It was literally one row over. Look at all the clay. Now I'm gonna explore. There's so much to choose from. I don't even know where to begin. Like, can we please look at this? Holy shit. I'm overwhelmed. So I was told Sculpey is very brittle, which you can already see it cracking right here. So I'm going to try this one to start off with because I really want to paint my sculptures because I am a painter so we'll see if this brand works it seems very soft and good to work with oh that's so cool I didn't even know they had stuff like this it gives you a leather effect soft diamond effect how cool I didn't even know they had all this stuff so I'm gonna pick up this Fimo soft to have for detail work so I don't have to paint black. Michaels also had a ton of sculpting tools. They also had liquid clay, which I thought was pretty great when you're trying to mend your clay. They had silicone oven safe molds. They had cookie cutters. They have little mini tools for details. So if you're ever in Michaels, definitely check out this section. Now I'm picking up two 20 by 20 inch canvases because they are buy one get one free it's really loud in here because it's like 5 p.m so i'm getting these two canvases because might as well pick them up if they're buy one get one free am i right haul time baby eight eight mm, 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 mm. okay first things first i'm gonna show you guys everything i picked up from michael's craft store let's get into it item number one I picked up two of these canvases right here. They are 20 by 20 inch because I'm doing a whole series called the Solitude Series. And I want all of the canvases to be the same size. And you'll see why later when I'm finished with all of them. Then I picked up some white gesso paint because Bob Ross uses it to prime his canvases. So I wanted to try it to see if it helped me with my painting and if it made it a lot easier and smoother with my brush strokes. So we will see if it's worth it, but I thought I'd try it out and it's just the Artist Loft one, it was like 10 bucks. I figured I'd buy a cheaper one to start because if I don't like it, then it wasn't a big investment. Then I got these affordable matte acrylic paints um, from Craftsmart because I babysit a lot of the kids in the neighborhood and I've done art with them before. So one night, basically all the parents wanted to hang out and I wanted to give the parents a break because kids are a lot. I love them, but they are a lot. Um, and they wanted to learn how to paint because they saw all of my paintings. So I did a little session with them. I let them paint whatever they wanted, but at the end they had to present to their parents tell their parents why they painted it, what they painted, so that they could have autonomy over their art and just feel proud of themselves and also work on public speaking. Because a lot of people are not comfortable with public speaking and public speaking is a very important skill to have, which I have gotten the opportunity to learn through doing theater a lot and film my whole life. So I wanted to give them a little opportunity to experiment with that. 
and they had a lot of fun with it and they want me to teach them another session so we will be painting skin which is what they wanted to learn so I got a few skin tones here and since kids like to use a lot of paint and just freaking do too much um, I got cheap paint because I know how they layer on globs and globs of paint so yeah I'm excited to do that with them one weekend. I think I'm going to do it this upcoming weekend. So, I also picked up a pack of three golden synthetic brushes. These are so when I do my larger paintings, I can cover more area. Also, because I am actually really bad with cleaning my brushes. <laughs> I need to get better at that because I end up leaving them out of water sometimes and then they get really hard and you can't use them any longer or I just don't wash them immediately and the same stuff still happens. So I've been wasting a lot of money doing that. <laughs> but we're gonna try again and try to be better. That's all we can do really. And because I'm obsessed with Bob Ross, he also uses these scraper palette knives when he paints. And I've never tried to use a knife to paint instead of a paintbrush. I really wanna get better at landscapes and make them more hyper-realistic including my surrealism twists into that and I want to learn how to do mountains first so I picked up this little scraper tool and I'm gonna to try to do a little paint study on a smaller canvas to see how it turns out now the super fun part the new art medium I will be trying is da -da -da -da, sculptures yes I've been fascinated by sculptures for a while now and because I paint these little eyeball people, I was like, that would be the perfect thing to try out to make a sculpture with. So I'm gonna try to do a sculpture eyeball person. And I'm using the Das Molding Clay. Never tried it, never heard of it. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and kind of get a brief understanding of how to deal with sculptures and clay. But I kind of want to just dive in and see if I can figure it out myself because I like doing that stuff. I don't read instructions for most things. And then I also picked up the Fimo Soft Black Clay because for the people of the eye, all that stuff, I didn't want to have to paint that. But I will be painting most of the sculpture, if not all of it. So that's why I went with the plain clay. The last thing I picked up at Michael's is this Sculpting and Armature Wire. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be using this for. Possibly the arms and the legs to create more structure for the clay to hold on to. Also, I was thinking it might be helpful when I do the eyelashes of the eye to hold the clay up. I don't, I don't know. We'll see if it's worth it. Just wait for the video when I do the sculpting. Subscribe so you can see that, okay? Thanks, babe. Now let's move over to Amazon. Amazon, the most addicting site to shop on. Anyways, so I looked for some sculpting tools on Amazon because honestly it was a lot cheaper and it came with a lot more things and there was different kits and stuff. But at Michael's each tool was sold separate and I was not trying to do that because if I don't end up liking making sculptures, I'm not trying to do all that extraness. So it came in a little black pouch here. And it came with this like hard cardboard to roll your clay out into. And then to roll out the clay, like if you're making little baked goods, this like acrylic roller. So yes, yes, yes. And then I got a whole bunch of mini tools that helps you with shaping your sculpture and doing finer detail. So this is a kit of black ones. Then these, oh, they're falling. These ones have these little, let me see if I can get it out. These little mini balls at the end to help you shape. So that'll help when I go into doing like the eyeball and maybe if I wanna add um, more detail on the skin part. And these ones for bigger sculptures, I'm sure. And then this one has Oh, let's see. Uh, uh. Why is this one stuck? Okay, never mind. This has like a rubber end 
to help smooth things out and then the little ball thing again so i have plenty of tools to work with and i'm excited to try it out then from amazon i picked up this desktop selfie live stand which comes with a ring light a place to hold your ipad because i have an ipad and then a place to put your phone that'll be angled so it'll be over your artwork because I love drawing and I haven't done it in a minute. So if I want to do either drawing videos or paint study videos, this is perfect because it has everything I need in one little kit. And I don't have to worry about stacking things on books and different items, you know. It's clean cut. It holds the phone and grips it well. So I'm excited to try it out. And if you want to see some of these videos, follow me on TikTok, baby. The last thing I picked up at Amazon was these bubble mailers in teal and it is a 50 pack. The reason being is soon I'm going to be releasing grinders, little mini keychain grinders that have my artwork on them and I need something to ship them out in and I want it to be protected. It also comes in a nice little drawstring bag that's protecting it. And to add my own branding onto the grinders and the bag type thing, I ordered these hang tags from Vistaprint. So it has my eyeball logo. Let's see if I can focus it in. And then the back, it says a vocaholic art shop with a scan code that goes directly to my website. So if you have a business, I think this is a great idea to promote your business further and make it easier for people to shop. Everybody loves convenience. To continue with the whole branding idea, which is very important so people know how to identify you and be like, oh, I remember that logo. I remember those colors. I know exactly who that is. Very important. I purchased these little mini stickers on stickerapp.com, which I highly recommend. I love them. Um, I just made this in Canva, this little logo here. It's the same logo on my hang tag. And then I'm going to use these stickers to put on the back side of my flat ridge mailers on the seal part. So it has a little extra special touch of my business. Okay, okay, stop asking me. I decided to give you a little sneak peek of the grinder that's coming to my shop. I'm starting out with one style and then if you guys are interested in seeing some of my other paintings on grinders comment down below on this video or my instagram or tiktok find me baby i'll put it in the description below but without further ado it comes in these little white drawstring bags which is why i wanted to add the hang tag Alrighty, here we go here we go <gasps> look how cute it is it's a keychain grinder nobody will ever know Anyway, so it has my print of Casualties of the Heart on here. And then you swivel it open. It's magnetized like this. Then, of course, the little parts where you can grind. And then it magnetizes just like that. And you can hang it on, of course, your keys, your purse, whatever you want. And it's a little on-the-go friend, if you know what I mean. And if you guys are interested in checking out any more of my surreal art, I will have linked below in the description my website and my social media handles. So be sure to give it a follow. And I hope you guys like this video and found it, found it, yeah, found it fun and entertaining. And if there's any other items that you think I should pick up, I love shopping or any other art mediums you want me to try and see that process. Let a girl know in the comments below. Let a girl know in the comments below. Okay. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.